And on this episode of Isn't It Obvious, we have this from Radio Times. Shoot Gadwick admits early worries about Doctor Who role, why did you cast me? Well, shoot, I can answer that question with two words. Black, gay, that's it. Those were the requirements that Russell T. Davis had for hiring the next Doctor Who. You are exactly what he wants now, because Russell T. Davis has committed to torpedo in his own show, and says, no, 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 fans don't like it, they're all just bad people, we're going to push forward with our diversity and our inclusion and our kindness, and fuck anyone that has a single opinion about this show. But it's all crashing down, it's all going to crash down around this man. That's why this deal with Disney Plus is so important. Because when the BBC stops giving them money for their incredibly low ratings, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure that the Doctor Who show is being paid for by the taxpayers. If I'm not mistaken on that, if I am, please let me know. That's always what I thought about with the BBC, where they're getting the money from. So, to Russell T. Davis, it doesn't matter though, because the money's going to keep flowing. However, the people providing the tax money are going to keep looking at this show's massive dive bomb and ratings and say, are we really going to waste money on this product? A product that's clearly not selling, clearly not being watched, hemorrhage in viewership each and every week, and that is again why the Disney Plus merger with Doctor Who was such a benefit to the show and Russell T. Davis because he knows it's all drying up at this point. But Disney Plus does not care about the new season. They care about all the previous ones. You know, the ones that the fans came in to watch each and every week, year after year, season after season, and got to watch all of these doctors progress through the show's history? Those are the ones the fans care about. They don't care about this guy. They don't, they don't care about him at all. Because we all know what he is. He's nothing but a DEI hire. And this DEI hire is now questioning why he was hired in the first place. It's amazing. They're all looking at each other in the mirror and going, huh, why, do, why, do, why am I in this role? And when this new season comes out in May of this year, it is going to have the absolute lowest ratings of any Doctor Who programming of all time. Russell T. Davis has gone out of his way to shame and argue with the fans. From what I'm looking at online, Russell T. Davis has done a miraculous job of destroying his own show. Why he's doing it, I have no idea. I imagine just like him, just like Disney, just like DC, Marvel, Paramount, Peacock, every every place out there, they're all being paid to do this stuff. They're being paid to produce the worst content known to mankind. Hemorrhage millions and millions of dollars, piss off and shame every single fan that they've ever had, and then be left with absolutely nothing. Is this a, again, investment firm that's pulling the strings back there saying this is what you have to do? Because, again, this guy has made an entire living on Doctor Who. Appeasing the fans, creating content that the people like. And again, it's not the black gay thing that people don't like. The show is shit. The show is absolute shit now. The specials on Disney Plus were terrible. There was nothing about this show that was actually good. For new fans and old fans alike, it has failed at every single metric in turn. So now again, you're going to take this guy and just hang him out to dry. He Make him the shield for any and all criticism, which is again, always how I define woke. Using diversity and inclusion as a shield for criticism and to push a product. That's all it is at this point. And he should know that. And when those rock bottom ratings and viewership numbers come in, he's going to know that he has been nothing more than a pawn. Nothing more than a toy dog sitting in Russell T. Davis's purse. And he can go around to all these after parties and go, Hey, look at me, guys. Look what I got here. It's a, um, it's a black gay man. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's who's going to lead my show. What do you got going on? Oh, you got Chris Hemsworth? I got a black gay man leading my show. And that's it. That's all it is in Hollywood now. And it's shameful. And I know nothing about this man, so I'm not going to really cast judgment on his character at all. But I wonder if it's going to hit him very soon that, yeah, this is, this is why they hired you. Nothing more than skin color and sexuality, and that's it. 
Doctor Who, just like every single franchise out there, has been touched by woke, infected, and is dead on arrival. And the best part about this process is that it's not going to take three, four, five years. Nope, nope, I'm saying one or two. To the point where there is no one watching this show. And Disney Plus is going to have to, what, double their price again next year? And hemorrhage more and more viewers? Nah. So what do you guys think about that? Are you excited for the new season of Doctor Who? Do you think this is going to be the greatest Doctor of all time? More importantly, do you think this show has maybe one or two seasons left before it collapses upon itself under the woke ideologies? Let me know what you guys think about that.